Hickok 45 here. Got the SKS 762 by 39 out. We're going to shoot a little steel here. If you recall, we did a steel eating video, which a lot of people have looked at, and we just grabbed some ammo and shot with different guns. Well, we happened to shoot it with uh, hollow points that day. It's what we happened to grab, 762 by 39 hollow points. And that's what we used to show what the uh, 762 by 39 would do to one inch steel. And ever since that video, I've uh, dealt with comments on, on it about uh, if I had used full metal jacket, you know, it'd been interesting to see. It'd been a lot more interesting. The hollow points don't tell us anything and all that kind of thing. And that, that I mean, there's some logic to that, obviously. Well, I've been shooting steel for a long time with all sorts of toys, and and I uh, find myself having to make the point that there's really very little difference uh, because you're shooting steel. You're not shooting a rabbit, you know, or a wild boar or something, where a hollow point will expand and, and be more effective, perhaps. So what we're going to do is we decided to do kind of a follow-up. We've got the same monolithic piece of steel over there, and it's got a lot of hits on it, but we have painted it black, so everything is painted and uh, freshly painted. So any hits you will definitely see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, hollow points in first and we're gonna take a few shots. See, we got hollow points there. We're gonna take a few shots somewhere in the middle of there. There's some room there where it's not been hit. And uh, mainly we wanna get at least a couple of three hits there where it's uh, not been hit. Let me get to make sure safety's on here. Oh, look at that. Oops. That's all right, that round I'll find with the bush hog. That was a joke. Okay, I see it. We'll be sure we <laughs> pick it up. I don't want to find it with the tractor. Okay, so I'm going to try to put some rounds on it towards the middle. And uh, yeah. Okay, we're almost too close to be shooting at it. Oh, we had a malfunction there. That's interesting. Okay, so we're empty. Now, you can see those hits. I'm going to put uh, these around the top part of it. Now, these are full metal jacket. Okay, no hocus pocus here. And I think that you'll see there's very little difference, if any. Okay, I think I need to oil this thing up or something. There we go. Come on, come on. I'm always struggling to load the, there we go. All right, full metal jacket. Same round and full metal jacket. Okay, I'm going to put these around the top. There's one of those up a little higher than I wanted, kind of towards the left, so we'll kind of remember which one he is. But we're going to have plenty of, of both. Yeah, there we go. Right at the cross. That's a full metal jacket. Okay. That's enough. Let's go over and see if we can tell any difference now. Let me pick up this round here that dropped. Got him. All right. We would have found him with the mower, I'm sure. Actually, that would not have been a problem if we had, as, uh, as it sounds uh, really, really, really dangerous. But if a bullet goes off just lying in the grass, however, it's just a firecracker, basically. All right, let's see what we see. Okay, see if I have to eat my words as well as eat some steel here. Okay, now, that I think was a husk that's got two on it now, but these were, you're looking at, are uh, full metal jacket, okay? Full metal jacket, you see what they do, they, they make a little crater there. And if John moves on down here, you can see the uh, hollow points, what they do to it. Yeah, these, uh, I, I don't see uh, any difference here with the naked eye. In fact, that one looks pretty, pretty deep. So the lower ones are full metal or uh, hollow point. And the ones up there at the top are full metal jacket. If anything, 
it almost appears the the hollow points dug a little deeper okay I've been meaning to do this for a long time just have not gotten around to it you know I have to be in the mood seems like to to do anything and I just wanted to show folks that uh, when you're shooting steel it this doesn't really make that much difference whether or not it's a hollow point uh, because you know it's not going to expand you know the <laughs> it's just uh, whatever these are 125 grains are they the uh, the 762 by 39 when it just hits the steel it's uh, that amount of lead hitting it at that velocity and it's only gonna do what it's going to do so now if we had some steel core steel penetrating ammunition you know we'd see a, a different uh, effect I guess but this is just stuff that you go buy and uh, you know brown bear whatever it is and so as I've been saying for the last year since we did the first uh, version of the steel leading video and I hope you've seen it it's a pretty interesting video uh, shooting this same piece we still have the, the hits on the back where we we did that video it's, it's rusty and everything you know we we shot with different uh, calibers different rounds what was it 308 762 by 39 and uh, guys I don't know well, I forgot what all we shot at but we did that uh, you know on the back side there and marked off quadrants and it's called steel leading I believe is what we call it uh, and just periodically, you know, I'll get a comment or a question, even a private message. Hey, man, you should have shot some uh, full metal jacket into it so we could really see what the gun, the cartridge would do to steel. Well, there you have it. There's, there's really no difference. So I wasn't lying. There's no difference. But anyway, we saw we go and do that dual follow up to that and uh, use the same gun, in fact. So anyway, for whatever that's worth, hope you enjoyed it. Hickok signing off because life is really good.